We're so happy to have you, very talented photographer in what really is a male-dominated field, but you are absolutely killing it. I love your work, and we're really happy to have you, and especially, you've been on a very busy schedule. Uh, you've been on the road for how many days now? I think over 60 days now. 60 days, yeah. and you're going to all the different teams and taking these amazing pictures. Uh, you're obviously in Montreal yesterday for the Alouettes game. How was that? That was fantastic. Great win. Yes, huge yeah. win. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, we've had our struggles this year, but uh, it's nice to see them beat the, uh, the Blue Bombers yesterday. Uh, tell me about this picture that you took at the game yesterday. Yeah, okay. Well, yesterday was a very special game for me because it was like the last game, my last game of this CFL road trip, and the first time I've seen my family, parents, brothers, for over than 60 days being alone on the road. So. I was there and I, the Alouettes gave me tickets for my parents and family, so I turned around and my brother just texted me, hey, we're there, so I turned around and they were there. <laughs> and I just like, you know, it warmed my, warmed my heart and I felt like, oh my God, it's real, like I'm going to see them after the game. And you can see their smile on the photo, like they're, they're super happy as well. So. Oh my God, there yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, they're all, you know, you're originally from a small town outside of Drummondville and uh, they all came down for this. I don't think they like the Montreal traffic no, very much, but they had fun. Fan. <laughs> yeah, they had fun at <laughs> the game. Fantastic weather, great game, you know, so. Let's talk about your career now for a bit. Uh, we're going to be showing some of your pictures uh, on this road trip and other work that you've done. Um, how did you first get into it? Well, it's a few, like, when I was young, my, I have three younger brothers. They all played football. So, you know, when they started their career, I just came on the, the game and I was like, oh, this is so long. And I'm going to have to find a way to make it fun. Took my camera, go in the field, take photo of them, and started to have requests from other uh, teammates, other teams, and, you know, made my way, like, here. And then just snowballed from there. And uh, tell me about this road trip. Why did you choose to do this? And why the CFL? Well, the CFL, it's a great league. And it's our league. It's a Canadian league. And it's, like, for me, it's great. I've always been around and always wanted to see the country as well. So I was like, okay, well, you know, let's try to find a way to make it happen. And uh, sold everything I had, put all the money, and <laughs> decided to go there and, well, to make a photography book at the end. Uh, to showcase uh, the culture, identity of each market, which is very different from one to the other. Like Montreal compared to Saskatchewan is like two worlds. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted to show that to people that know about it and people that don't know about it through my lens. There might be some budding photographers watching right now. What advice would you give to them and what makes a great sports photo? Well, what makes it, to me, you know, I'm 28 years old, I don't know everything, mm -hmm. but uh, I think what's, what makes a great photo is a photo that doesn't need a caption. A photo that you, you're going to see and you already know what's the story behind it. And tells That's a great, great story. Yeah. Uh, well, we're so happy to tell your story here on the show. Thanks for being here. The Thank book you. comes out November 23rd in Winnipeg. Uh, congratulations on that, and uh, we'll be looking forward to checking that out.